Hey, hey guys, NinK78 back here with more Persona 4 Golden. In the last one, we talked to all of our social links and came to say goodbye to everyone. And we had to do some more exploration of Inaba, and I ended up coming here to Jeunesse, so we came here too. It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. Yeah. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? <gasps> You're obliging me to have something that I have near my desk? Okay, maybe not. I shouldn't eat on the camera because that's so gross to hear. Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> okay, steak is good, but that's kind of rude. Will you shut up about your steaks? <laughs> you reminisced with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun in games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? Yeah, how did you? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? Someone accidentally? How? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. Well, we braved the hollow forest and we were bestowed a power. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. I'm pretty sure he do, he still says Hollow Forest in Persona 4, so it wouldn't make sense here. Um, maybe it's just some other per Hollow Forest, perhaps? So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Yeah, it was like a chosen one, I guess. Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about Personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter the TVs before your Persona awakened. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. Hmm. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave? She, she did have a letter in her hand. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, 
There are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. Ah, his detective instincts are coming in here. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. Who told you? And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Does N Namatame doesn't remember either. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There's still more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before. It's strange. Adachi's well-organized words unfold a pe unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the one random line of insult that was inserted into the letter. <laughs> Like, we are lighting me this he heartfelt letter, of all things, and then you still <laughs> insult me with one. <laughs> okay, anyways. The letter ends there. You obtain Adachi's letter. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. This is the final rank from Adachi to finish off hunger. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Bagatsu Itsunaki, the ultimate form of the hunger arcana. The Toro Adachi Social Link has reached its maximum level. You've mastered the Toro Adachi Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Hunger Arcana has reached its maximum. Kyo Narukami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Hunger Social Link, you can now fuse Bagatsu Izanagi, the Tempter of the Void. Still, though, the things he wrote not you. Who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. But he did remember who he learned it from someone. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. The only way we know is to figure out who we talked to on the first day of this journey. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world, the midnight channel, the ability to enter TVs, they all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? Oops. So Sorry. you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that Conductor? Conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone else from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if some 
something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? Of a deity of sorts in a way. And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... Alright, so we arrived at this train station and it was... Dojima first before we walked into Marie. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. Alright. Well, we last saw Dojima and Nanako in the Samagoa floodplain. Maybe they were hanging out in the park. So, if they're still there, it would make sense to find them. Uh, seems not. Oh, hey, there they are. Hmm? Kyo. Did you already meet all your friends? I want to talk to you. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima about the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I remember we stopped at the gas station. I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Weird? The weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. What was weird about him? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before you went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I look sick? Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you carsick? She is right. She did tell us that we looked car sick, maybe some... And we did feel like we had a headache, and then you had to walk around a bit before talking to them again. You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? It might be important, but it's not really related to the case. It's only something I could solve. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. 
I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. I understand. Okay. The first place you stopped to... The first place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. Alright. So we have to go into the South Sub Central Shopping District. We've been walking by it all this time. And sometimes our friends would hang out over here. Wait, what? Uh... Do what now? The gas station attended. I've only seen an older man and an older woman working there. Okay, yeah, but, uh... Aren't they supposed to be standing out there? I think I have to go to Juness again. Something that tells you I have to do that. It's so weird that the game goes in this direction, despite the dialogue being a little clear of where you're supposed to go. Really? Oh, wait, maybe I have to go to the Velvet Room? Oh, I'm allowed to go to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? I mean, to be fair, this is also the second place we went to, but it was like, uh, way after. Like, we talked to the gas station attendant, and then we went to the Velvet Room after we felt got home and got unpacked, we fell asleep, and came here to the Velvet Room. You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Two times. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow. That's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. It's a broken glass, a magnifying glass or something. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. We obtained the orb of sight. Hey, I remembered something about myself. What did you remember? I was born a long, long time ago. I was... the unconscious wish shared by people's minds. To protect the world of man. Walk the path of man. Fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But... people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. 
the real puppet master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. Uh, just to stop real quick, Marie sounds like basically how Pyra and Mithra work. She's like the Mithra of the Pyra we're going to try to, or the Pyra, she's the Pyra of the Mithra we're going to try to find. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go! to the place where everything began. What was it called? Bodo? Mobo? It began raining. Raining. Raining! 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 Okay, now we can see the gas station attendant. Apparently they used invisible powers until we showed this orb to them. Hello! Hmm. Hi there. Do you need something? Isn't this where I first... First? What are you talking about? Oh, is this about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening yet. Do you know... Namatame? Huh? Ah, that serial murder suspect? A real tragedy, wasn't it? But the case is solved, right? Thank goodness. Huh? Something else I could help you with? Have you... Did those two come here? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I guess I could have asked about Adachi and it would have been like the same thing. He's also the serial murderer. Anyways. Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but it might... But I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time. So, yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you've got nothing else, would you mind ha leaving me alone? No, I'm going to keep pestering you. Huh? You s Oh, you still need something? <laughs> hey, I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? To those two? Ah, oh, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came to town. So I greeted them saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? What did you do to me? What did I do to you? <laughs> Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town and did the same thing as those... As, and did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you. That's all. Remember, we talked for a couple of minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? If there's something that's bothering you... Is there something that's bothering you about the time we first met? Did you give me this power? Or the power? Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. You've reached me at last. <laughs> Let's drop this charade. To be honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened the power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I am rather surprised. You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sagiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. So you're the one behind everything. <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish, suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Hmm? <laughs> 
Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. Why do you laugh? What's so funny? <laughs> I apologize, but the appropriateness was just so amusing. The comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. You remember that Kanji's mother mentioned that when you visited the Tatsumi textiles in Marie. It's an old belief that the combs have the power to cause separation. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <sighs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. I will not forgive you for this. Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. Why did you choose me? For your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed, I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. No, no, don't. Don't you do it. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? To end everything. The fog has lifted. And you still are not content? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. Uh-oh. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You defeated the two Sigiri and the one fragment born from me. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore the situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. The one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friends' voices in the distance. Hey, are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me! You told your friends... Your, you told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor? And she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, 
I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. You finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who awaits you in the other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Ameno Saigiri, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town where you lived with everyone. Alright, let us go to Jeunesse. There's that- wait, there- uh, hold up, actually. Before you go back to Jeunesse... I think are go aren't we allowed to still go shopping? Really? Oh wait, that was the store. That was the wrong store. Yes. All right. Nothing for us to sell because unfortunately the stuff that you get isn't the same stuff that you can keep. But you can still buy weapons if you need. So this is the last time you should do so. I'm going to get El Caliente because it would probably be best. I have prepared off screen, uh, uh, got some more items, and I definitely showed off getting the El Caliente. So let's go to the food court. All right. This is finally it. So many things have happened up until now, but this now will beat this Izanami and put an end to this. Right? Yes, but since we were all. We were all spread out over the town until a moment ago. Let's go over what happened. This is the last measure that must be taken. We must make sure that we end this properly. All right, let's enter the TV. Yeah, let's go. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced. And it seems like a new area has formed. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned, I don't know if I needed to have made this save before this area, uh, but it is probably recommended that you make a save before you go uh, face Izanami, of course. Otherwise, you have to do all the talking again. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me, that Amino something we beat said stuff like, we'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kinda sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Teddy, are you okay? Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No one! 
wonder I smell of orangey freshness. You spilled orange juice on him? Well then, let's do this. So this will be the last time I hope you catch the bad guy. Sensei, good luck. Indeed, we'll see, we'll do this in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys then.